Hello, I'm Richard Loves, the Bald Explorer. This is a, another walk video. It's a continuation. I'm starting here by uh, the brazier at Old Harry, I think, it, or Mount Harry, I beg your pardon, on the South Downs Way in a previous video that I've just completed. Um, I'll put a link to it if you missed it. Um, I was walking from Ofham to Black Cap to uh, follow the South Downs Way. However, I went astray and did a weird circuitous route, so I never actually made it. Black Cap is just there. I made it here. So I'm going to carry on on the South Downs Way now to sort of correct what I should have done last time. So Black Cap is back in the distance there, and this route is the South Downs Way. It's on the top of the ridge with beautiful scenery, as you can see on my left and lots of gorse and um, hawthorn bushes. Now, I had a bit of a strange map reading episode in the previous video when I was trying to do this and I ended up going in a, in a weird circle route to get up there. It was very nice. And this is the thing about the South Downs. You, there's lots of different tracks and you can wander around all over the place. So in theory, this should be a lot quicker back um, and it can only go in one way, it can only go through Ofham or Otham. So I'm hoping I don't get lost on the second time. I'm usually pretty good with map reading, but the map was quite confusing ab around the chalk pits. But anyway, that's another story and we've dealt with it. Let's take advantage of this rather beautiful day and this path which in places <laughs> has disappeared um, in the distance in the far distance we see the hills the other side of Lewis and snuggled at the bottom of those is Lewis itself the county town of East Sussex and I'm not actually sure how the South Downs way progressed past Lewis whether it passes to the north of it or just cir circumnavigates it or what it does I must look that up on the map but that I guess is the next part of my journey once I've finished this one we're filming in January and we've had a lot of rain fortunately as I often say on the downs the rain does perme permeate through but the topsoil can be quite muddy and quite slippery so I'm plodding along here trying to find actually where the South Downs route is. I feel I was on it a second ago, but it sort of opened up. The South Downs Way is a very obvious path. I can't believe that I have lost it a second time. This is going to be very annoying if that is the case. Beautiful oak tree just here. Just had to have a quick diversion. Look at this. Absolutely stunning looking oak tree covered in moss and lichen which goes to prove that this is a beautiful and clean air environment. I'm going to come out this side because there's a I think a better route here. I think this must be it. Oh yes here we go. I'm back on the right path. What a plonker! <laughs> It's windy, but apart from the wind, it's lovely. Just uh, going through this field of sheep here. I don't know that these are South Downs, an actual breed of sheep. I thought the South Downs sheep were much stockier, but lovely nonetheless. They're, uh, they're all very inquisitive. So this is now taking me in the right direction. Actually, um, the part one and part two of this video would make a, a lovely circuitous route if you fancy a walk parking up somewhere like Ofham and then you just come round in a great big circle. Hadn't meant to do this as you heard me say but it's very delightful. Look at these oak trees. Lovely in silhouette. Another one here. 
So, hello mate. You seem quite friendly. Not running away from me, which often happens. Um, going downhill now, so that is a good sign. And somehow I've got to get back, presumably on the path that I originally took at some point. So it'd be interesting to see where it is that I went wrong and how I misconstrued it all. That's the field I've just come from. There's a stile there, as you can see. It just says land access on it, which means you can roam around as you see fit. What it doesn't say is South Downs Way. And the footpath is not clearly defined. There's a, a route that the farmer obviously takes, little road route. And then there's this valley in front of me. But where the hell has the South Downs Way gone? This is really peculiar. People walk this all the time. How can I be that thick? There's the valley and the trees, and that must be Offham Hill. This must take me down, sorry, to Ofham. I'm the Oaf. I am the Oaf. I don't understand this. I'm going to go back and look at the map and see exactly where I've gone wrong, because I've done this in two videos. But it is a beautiful valley nonetheless. The South Downs Way is an amazing route and I've not walked all of it in one go. I've walked bits of it but not all of it. This bit I have not walked and I'm wondering where it goes. This makes the walk quite interesting because actually when you get a bit lost and you go wait hang on a minute the map shows me that this goes in one way. I have followed the, the route from Mount Harry and I have not deviated and I've suddenly it just seems incredibly vague and that can't be right because as I say people walk it all the time it, it's just very odd. We'll just follow this down and see see where it goes I guess. Fortunately I know where I've got to be at the bottom of that hill this ridge in front of me. Well, I think I've worked things out a bit better. <laughs> a little bit. Down the bottom there's the church. I'm parked in front of the church. The hills you can see on the right is where the footpath went up. Now, that's where I've got to get down to because somehow, it clearly it wasn't obvious to me, so I've got to get down there. This is, this is very embarrassing more than anything else because I can read a map but clearly I have struggled today so I'm going to skirt around this farm and I hope I'm not going to worry the sheep. There's a little road down here that I can get to so I'm going to try and get down onto that if I can without having to claw over any fences and hope that I can then get down to the road safely and not upset anybody. I don't want to be done for trespassing and, and falling off the footpath, which clearly I think I have. Um, stepped over the fence there at the bottom. The track goes that way towards the church. I'm just curious because I've come over the, that, that track and up a slight hill which is clearly not really a path. I just want to have a look up here in case this takes me to the, the proper path because I would like to know where the path actually goes rather than just come out onto some vague bit of farmland. And as far as I could see, it must be up here. The only thing that would worry me is if I come across a whole load of cows. Well, I don't think I needed to have worried too much because here is a stile. 
and I'm going to cross this style in style. It's an old rickety style. Ah. So presumably I was permitted on that land, and then here is the path. Ah. Here's the path I was supposed to go up, which is right, just where I thought it was. Oh, well, I feel justified now. This is the path that I should have taken right at the start, in the beginning of the other video, but I veered to uh, the left. That's interesting. I'm going to follow this down. This will take me back to the, to the road, but I should see where the path I walked into right at the beginning of my first video and the first part of this walk. So, interesting to know where that actually joins up. So we just come down here towards the houses. A lot of fallen, chopped down branches of ivy here all around. And coming in more the rooftops of houses. Now somewhere here, there's the church in the front of me. This little lane, but I don't remember. Ah, here we go. This is it. Ha. This is it. Instead of going up this way, I remember I passed this sign and I went that way, thinking that I was supposed to go that way, according to my map. Oh, how ridiculous. So I started my way up here. If you remember, I went past this protect the wildlife sign. And there is the church and the houses in the foreground, the road, the little toll cottage that I passed at the beginning of the first walk. And we've done it. Right, let's cross this busy road. And I'll say thank you very much for watching and we come back round here and quickly have a, a glance at the church, why don't we, as we're coming around where I started. And we should see my car parked just around the corner if it's still there. No, nope. there it is, down the end there. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'm glad we got back to the car safely. Uh, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you've ever got lost, tell me about it. I'd be interested in your stories. But for now, from the Bald Explorer, back at my car, I have made it. Take care. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now. Now, where did I put my blooming keys?